Welcome back, guys. But we've got a new MMO coming out. I thought, how about if we open up our own distribution channel? How would that be? Um, so what I'm thinking is to expand our servers. I wasn't going to do it, but and then I thought, well, yeah, what, what the hell? What the hell? Let's just let's, let's do it. So let's go down to our uh, down to our server basement, and uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go into uh, we'll go into build mode, and we'll select these four, and we'll just like double up our servers. So uh, I want to take those. I want to clone them. Yes. Now I want to mirror these. So we just want to flip these around. Somebody was asking me, like, how do you flip them around? It's the, um, it's the uh, comma and uh, full stop keys. You just flip it around, and then uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just bang this in opposite. So, like there. Is that right? Is that the right place? I think that's the right place. Boom. Okay, and it's done it. Cool. So um, we've just doubled our server capacity now. Am I going to have um, two sets of servers or one set of servers, or like, like one ginormous server? And like I've said, I, and, and nobody has come up with a reason why having multiple groups of servers would be a good plan. I mean, maybe it'll change as the game goes, like as the game gets developed and the new things happen, but like for now, the, the, there just isn't any point having different clusters of servers. So I'm going to select all of these using shift left and then shift right click and uh, select the furniture types that selects all of them and then shift right click and where's the here we go connect the servers oh it, yay it's done it my god I, I was seriously worried that was gonna crash you could probably sense that in my voice let's have a look at uh, wire mode and yeah oh look look it's done a weird thing over here Ew. But yeah, it's all it's all hooked up. And what is it called? It's going to be called Server 4 again because I've hooked it up to there. So uh, let's get out of build mode. Oh, sorry, uh, out of out of wire mode is what I wanted to do. And uh, let's go into server mode. Oh, it's Server 81. It's called now. Okay. Well, Server 81 is now going to be called Server 0 again. Rename it. There we go. See, I'm getting the hang of it. Like, like it takes me like six years to like get the hang of it, but I get there eventually. Um, let's view unsupported processes. No, there are none. Good. So yeah, we're we're now up to 320 power, which is like a hell of a lot of power. What, by the way, what, what's the temperature in these rooms? Like, it's 21 degrees C according to that. But this should all be like super cooled and stuff. So, I have, like maybe we need to put more cooling in. Ventilation, super cool. Why is super cooling no? Okay, let's select all of these. Although I, I have to say, it doesn't seem to be causing a problem to our servers. But let's um, let's select all of these. Boom, 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 boom. boom. And then shift right click. And put them in full cool mode. Cool, full. <laughs> put them in. Put, put them in full cool mode. Um, you know what? If I'm going to do the rest, I'll do it offline because that's going to just be so boring going around doing all those. Uh, we've got them all hooked up. That's the main thing. Let's just just check these other rooms. 21 degrees. 21. Oh, now see that's minus two. That's the original one that we did, but when we've copied it, it hasn't switched the super cooling on. So all of these are going to be, that's 25, 25, 25, 25. Okay. So, yeah, I need to do that. Right, yeah, well, let, let's just forget about that for now. Right. Let's, uh, let's get back to our company because I want to find out what happens when we get the antivirus software going. So let's crank this up. Let's get it through the horrible holiday season of July. And hopefully in August, we'll get the marketing. To oh, a product has been reviewed. Now, let's see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tiger Raw is making a million. Now, the, th the, the only problem is that it's been reviewed and whatever. Um, 
before the marketing's been done. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like after the marketing gets done the first time. Uh, Skysoft shocks protection. Yet again, Skysoft leads is completely baffled with their high quality productions. Another great piece of work since Tiger Antivirus 3. I wish he'd rewrite this beat. Another great piece of work since, that, like grammatically, that just doesn't hang right for me. Um, whoa, Scandal Alpha Trip Studio. We didn't think you'd notice. They lied about features. Ooh, cool. Uh, is that going to be a thing? Is that going to be a thing in the final game that you can lie about what features are in the game? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. What's our monthly profits up to now? We were at uh, we were at well, we we're up to eight point four, and we're up to like for the last six months average, and we're nine point two now. So we are growing. Now we're up to a hundred million again. I mean, we could throw some more into our uh, into our insurance if we wanted to. We're at uh, we're coming up to four hundred million. The company is worth. Now we like we could go and like like go and buy some of our competitors or whatever. But our competitors are pretty pathetic. Um, there's Alpha Top. Who've got a hundred percent rep? Drive Studio with a hundred percent rep, but they've yeah they like got no products. I mean, Alpha Top's got seven products. Yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, I, I, we're not going to bother with that. I don't think. But we'll have a look at distribution channels. So, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, now we are currently not shipping through physical stores, right? Now we could do that. Um, so, for example, like Play Shop, yeah, they're not that popular. Let's sort by popularity. Who's the most popular? So, Punch Stop, we could say um, let's make a deal with them and ship our stuff through them. They take a cut of the revenue, and we have to pay um, two and a half thousand to release it through them. But it may increase our sales. So, let's make that deal, and we'll see. And uh, and maybe Kickstop Market, that's almost the same level of popularity. And they take a slightly bigger cut of the revenues, but it's like pff, nothing compared to uh, to what we're making. So you know what? We'll we'll do, let's do make a deal with them as well. So we'll 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 ship out through two physical shops, and we'll see if that makes any any like noticeable differences. Uh, now, the other thing that we can do is we can set up our own store name. Uh, our own distribution channel, online distribution channel. So, uh, what are we going to call it? Uh, pff. Well, I guess we'll call it like, um, I don't know. How about, how about calling it Vaporware? <laughs> yeah, we'll call it Vaporware. And uh, am I going to open it? Yeah, let's open it. Like, what the hell? Uh, are you sure you want to open a distribution channel named Vaporware? Probably not the smartest idea, but hey, you won't be able to change the name later. No, I'm happy with it. So, yes. Right, your distribution channel. What cut are we going to take? Yeah, I'm not interested in really taking a big cut of the distribution because it's our channel, so it's only taken away from ourselves. I don't see the point of that. What's the point of that? Somebody explain to me the point of this. And yes, I have done the tutorial, and it doesn't explain anything to do with the cut. So I, I really don't understand the benefit of that. Yeah, whatever. Um, so let's um, let's see. Where are we in terms of popularity? We're at we're at one percent popularity. Let's see if that increases. So. Uh, you know, let's go quickly. Just go down to the server room and just make sure that our uh, our servers are uh, any unsupported processes. No, apparently not. So let's crank this up. A few unsupported processes. No, there aren't any. Good. Okay, let's uh, let's pause this for a second. Let's go back upstairs because uh, I just want to make sure. That I'm not missing anything, because let's face it, this is me. Uh, so let's see. We are... Oh, yeah. Now that we're actually marketing Tiger Raw, it's, uh, I think it's gone up a little bit. 
how is 95 actually doing now? Oh, it's gone up because that was down about 4.7 million. It's up to 4.9 now. Be interesting to see if that keeps going up now that we're marketing more products. The Bitscape engine is coming along. Uh, Horse Killer still making three quarters of a mil. Okay, let's um, let's just keep going then. Right now, uh, now hang on a second. We um, we haven't got our games dev team doing anything at the moment. There is absolutely no reason why we couldn't get them off and running on another game. Uh, well, we're designing baby gangs, aren't we? So they'll be working on that afterwards. Yeah, but, uh, okay, whatever. Let's just keep going then. Uh, okay, right. Bitscape engine is... It's almost... It's not quite done. There's a little bit of 3D work, so let's let them finish that off. Is it? Did they finish? No, they slackers. You could have finished it before you went home. Pathetic they are. Come on, guys, come to work. Finish off Bitscape Engine '95. Now, now what I could do actually, while they're finishing that off, is um, do some pre-marketing for it. So, boom, boom, boom. Start the campaign and allocate that to marketing. I remembered for once. Is there anything that we can get rid of now? Is there anything that's not making money? Um, skateball is down to like 10,000 a month. I think we could probably cut that now. Yeah, let's cut the marketing on that. Uh, everything else is... Everything else is just leave it running. So, this should be done now. Yeah, this is done. Let's promote this to beta cool keep going wow christ they did that quick they've they've fixed all 72 bugs uh marketing for tigers raw where's the where's the marketing oh yeah we finished the marketing so we can release this good okay release it and yes marketing is crucial certainly is radio uh, radio, newspapers, television, start the campaign. Assign that to marketing. Boom. Go. And are we going to get a review for this? I guess not yet. A couple of people calling in sick. Now, hang on. Uh, Baby Gangs at Night has, um, has finished, so we can actually move that into development. So let's move that into development, and we're going to assign this to our Games Dev team. Right, so Games Dev are working on that. Uh, everything else is in marketing, so we need to get our design team working on uh, on a new product. Like, well, what are they going to produce? Well, obviously, they're going to start producing games. Um, but, like, I don't know, like, should we... Should we get our other teams working on something else? I don't see. Like once you've once you've kind of de developed an operating system and then put a visual tool, an audio tool, and a game engine. I'm wondering. Like, I mean, we could do like a visual tool and an audio tool, which is just for 95. We could call it like 95 plus, which is just for the 95 operating system. I don't know whether that would be worth doing. I'm kind of thinking it might be. Yeah, you know what? Let's try and see, shall we? So let's do a visual tool. This is going to be based on Tiger Studio 95. This is going to be called uh, 95 Plus. And it's going to be only on Tiger X95. But Tiger, see, Tiger X95 has only got 27% coverage, which is not that fantastic. Huh. Okay, whatever. Right, this is going to be in design. It's going to be image editing, three, 3D, QA. Uh, anything else we need? No. It's high innovation, low stability, medium. Yeah, okay, right, yeah, design that. Uh, anything else that we can do? No, we need them to finish that before we can get the... Um, uh, before we can get the audio tool done. So yeah, I guess um, I guess crank that out, guys. So come on, let's get into the next day. Here we go. Right, a product has been reviewed. Let's see, shall we? 
Skysoft, Skysoft shocks gaming. Oh my god! Uh, oh look, Skateball. Skateball is actually the top in the top medium web-based game. Awesome. Uh, Baby Gangs at Night is number three. Cool. Cloud Slam Studios releases Shape Man Two. Ooh, okay. Tiger Bitscape Engine Three is another brilliant release. Sky Tough, blah 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 blah. Cool. Anything in business? No. Anything in industry? Yeah, not really. Anything about me? Yeah. No, not really. Okay. So right now, let's just check on our server status. So. Yeah, our load is like so low. Any unsupported processes? No. So that's good. Uh, so we just started designing Tiger Studio 95 Plus, haven't we? Yeah. Let's carry on with that. Because the sooner we can get that out and get our... Uh, one of our programming teams actually doing something because we've got two of our programming teams sitting around doing absolutely nothing right that's ready to go into development so let's move that into development and assign that to program one uh, what can program two be doing this is the thing like we need to design something else you know, I, I'm I'm seriously thinking that I've got it weighted like too much to the um, to the programming, and there's not enough uh, in the in the design, and I'm thinking like two slightly smaller um, design teams would be the way to go. Uh, if I, if we do if we do a well when we do another series because let's face it, there's going to be another series. Now, what could we do? I mean, we could do. I suppose well, I suppose we should do a game. Um, we've got to wait for the uh, for the next for the next visual tool before we could do the audio team. It's like yeah, I guess we're doing a game. So this is going to be uh, this is going to be uh, Space Tricks in Heaven '95. So this will be uh, name Space Tricks in Heaven '95, and it'll be on server zero. <coughs> Excuse me. I am. I must admit, guys, I'm a little bit nervous. I've been getting a bit of a sore throat today, and there is a bit of a cold going around at the moment. And I think I might have got it. I'm very, very worried. Very worried. Uh, so this is going to be designed. What, now this is going to be on. Uh, I do we just put this on ninety five, or do we do this on NT as well? Um. I think we do. I think we do it on NT as well. It'll give us a bigger market. So the game engine will be Tiger Bitscape Engine ninety five because that runs on both, and this will be on Tiger Studio ninety five, and the audio tool will be Audio Edit ninety five. Cool, and that's pretty much it. Right. Uh, expected interest. Expected interest, 20%? Oh, because I haven't put the features in. <laughs> so, 3D graphics, music, dialogue, uh, open world, AI, multiplayer. Is it going to be an MMO? Uh, is it going to be an MMO? Should we make it an MMO? Let's make it an MMO. What, what the hell? Why not? Joystick support, yes. QA. Right, interest. 100%, innovation high, stability low, usability medium, uh, operating system coverage 76%. Oh, look at this, map. recommended team size 20. Wow, so there's a lot of work going into this. Ooh, good, 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 good. That should keep our programmers a bit more occupied. Right, let's do it. Develop that puppy. Right, did I actually allocate that to design? Yes, I did. Ooh, I'm going to be interested to see what that makes. Tiger Bitscape Engine is making one and a half million, which is sweet as. Uh, so when that gets designed, that's going to go to program two, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I guess. I mean, really, it should go to the game's dev team. I, you know, I'm seriously wondering if, like, program two should just be canned because... They're, it's kind of superfluous at the moment. Good word, isn't it? Superfluous. Uh, you know, let's, let's run things on a little bit. 
Okay, looks like this is actually going to take a bit of designing. I, I know that they were only working for like a couple of hours, but even so, I would think this is probably going to take a few days to get done. Yeah, that's, that's getting developed a bit slowly. That's going to take some work. All right. This is almost done. Just finish off on the last bit of the artwork. Baby Gang's at 995. It is an outstanding quality, but I would like that last little bit to get done. So, oh, and now they want cash. They're like, we're not finishing the game unless you give us more cash, you mercenary so-and-sos. Um, they want $56 at <laughs> average rise. Yes, okay, I'll give you that. Right, let's, let's see. Have they done it? Yeah, uh, no, they haven't. Come on, finish that bit of work. Bunch of slackers. Right, now I think they've just finished it. So let's promote that into beta. Uh, have I pre-marketed this already? I don't think I have. I should have done this before, really. Right, let's start the marketing campaign. We'll allocate that to marketing. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, see, see, Program 2 are just sitting around on their asses, not doing anything. I should just, like, fire the Program 2 team. Shouldn't I? I'm like, I really should. Because um, there just isn't anything to, for them to do. Now, in the, in the next version, guys, you're going to be able to assign multiple teams to a project. So we're actually going to be able to set up multiple teams of like designers and programmers and artists and whatever, and then assign them to whatever projects we want. That's going to be like really good. But my God, it, it's going to increase the, the micromanagement even more which is like a scary thought. How are we doing? We're talking to the press. Okay, this is now ready. This is, this is ready to release. So let's release that. Yes. Radio, newspapers, television, go. Uh, Tiger Studio 95 is ready to go into beta. Yep, promote that to beta. We'll market it. Radio, newspapers, television. Start that. That needs to get assigned to marketing. God, there's so many things to remember. Uh, this is so. This is program one. This is this needs to get assigned to marketing as well. Marketing baby gangs. This is program one. This is we're still working on that. So yeah, now we've got two programming teams sitting around doing nothing. Yet yeah, we definitely, like, to optimize this, we definitely need a second design team churning out stuff for the programmers. Like, n like no question. No question. All right, let's run this on. I'd love to see just what happens to these games and whatever when they get... Now, Tiger Studio 95 is ready to release, and we've finished it, so we can release that. So release that. Yes, we want to market it. Boom, boom, boom. Start the campaign and assign that to marketing. We have released... Um, we've released Baby Gangs at Night. Let's just check the servers because if that's popular, there could be a big load on our servers, potentially. I don't know. Oh, oh I've gone the wrong way. Uh, we want to go down here. Actually, I just need to go to the server menu. Um, no, apparently not. And there's no unsupported processes. Okay. So let's just carry on then. We'll go back upstairs, I guess. Uh, any reviews? No, I guess we're going to get the reviews in the morning. Come on, come on, come on. Give us give us good review. Make it stagger. Oh, Baby Gang. Oh, yes, guys. We finally got a winner. Baby Gangs at Night is making four and a half million. Oh, hell yeah. Tiger Studio 95 is only making 340,000. And it's because of the operating system coverage. The, um, the, uh, 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 studio, no, no. <sighs> Slow down. Uh, Tiger X95, right, is not a staggeringly popular operating system. Um, and, like, NT, look at this. NT, NT's still making, like, three quarters of a million a year. 
but look at this baby gangs oh i'm so freaking happy about that well that's going to bump our profits up to like maybe 15 million a month which is pretty freaking awesome we highly recommend baby gangs at night 95 yet again skysoft leaves us completely baffled with their high quality productions oh man i i i've got to say um even though that oh, oh 3d graphics ushers in a new era for gaming skysoft put baby gangs at night 95 on the market and the and gaming will never be the same with 3d graphics 3d uh, graphics is the new big thing awesome freaking job well done um oh, i was just about to say it does get like slightly repetitive um as you've probably come to see that you, like you're going through this the same process all the time but it's like right now it's still keeping my interest because the the opportunities for optimizing the process um are are huge i mean i'm doing a, i think i'm doing a fairly lousy job of uh, of optimizing this i mean i if i think of like with what I know now, if I went back to the start and started again, would I be able to do things better? Oh my God, I'd be able to do things a million times better. So yeah, I, I don't know how much further we're gonna go with this series, guys. So I'd like your comments. Like at this point, like do we do we like maybe do a 2000? We'll do like a millennium version. There is some new stuff, I think, in the... Um, in like the in the furniture, we've got it like office. We've got oh I oh I could put two big TVs in and stuff. Now there is hollow computer which unlocks in twenty twenty. Like, do we carry on? You know, uh, or do uh, like should I do the automation and see see like can we run things like in a fairly optimized way if we switch on the automation? That actually that might be a good idea. That might be something to play with. Uh, leave me your comments, guys. I'm going to be very interested to see what, like where you want me to go with this. But like right now, I'm freaking loving baby gangs. I really want to see how well that does. I'll catch you for the next episode, guys. Peace out.